Good day, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the Vegas Golden Knights franchise mode NHL 21 where we're about to start the Stanley Cup playoffs against the Los Angeles Kings. So we are coming off a very good regular season, 53, 23, and 6. Gonna take a look at the team stats and alliance as well and refresh our memory on who is on the LA Kings. So Alex Petrangelo had a fantastic year. 78 points plus 20. Almost a point per game as a defenseman. Uh, that is actually, I believe, a career high. Yes, 78 points. That is indeed a career high for Alex Petrangelo. He did have 11 goals as well. Marshall still has 74 points. Stone has 71. Duran 69. Pacioretty, 39 goals for him. The young guys did well as well. So we had a very good regular season all around. Uh, in goal, Thatcher Demko, our new goaltender. We made a big trade in the previous episode acquiring him for Robin Leonard from the Columbus Blue Jackets. 48-22-6 with 5 shutouts, 909 save precision, a 260 goals against. Imagine having 48 wins in your first year with a team. Hugo Allenfeld there, 76 overall. Hopefully he can grow. Demko is 85. And also in the AHL, we did have uh, a very good uh, year there. 105 points. Currently first place in the American Hockey League division. They're actually 51-19-3. So they're actually second place behind the Penguins there in the AHL. Uh, it's going to take a quick look now if our goaltender uh, went up in rating at all. Because we actually have Jesper Wallstead in net. Uh, over in Henderson for Henderson Silver Knights there. He's up to an 80 overall. Ferguson's backing him up as a 77. Looking at our lines for the NHL, Duane, Nugent, Hawkins, and Stone, they have a plus 3 on the first line. Steele, Krebs, and Tuck on the second, they have a plus 1. Glass, Pass, Ready, Marshall, so in the third, they have a plus 1 as well. Terry Cole, Chuck, and Noyes on our fourth line. Defense, Bean Petrangelo, Theodore Timmins, Lingren, Larson, they all have a plus one. Oscar Lingren actually grew to an 83 overall. Uh, I'm pretty tempted putting him on the second pairing. Uh, Timmins there uh, in the regular season, he had 19 points, was a plus 18. Lingren had 11 points plus 7. So, I mean, I'm almost tempted to put him there for him to grow. Timmins and Larson. I wonder if Timmins and Lindgren would work. Um, I mean, I kind of want Lindgren to go there. He's two overall higher than Larson, and he's still pretty young, so he could still grow. Uh, we have Timmins and Bean that are still young as well, so I think I'm just going to keep it like that, have Lindgren on second unit there. And power play is Stone, Nugent, Hawkins, Marcheseau, Petrangelo, Drouin. Tuck, Glass, Krebs, Pash, Reddy, and Bean. Both of our power play units have a plus three, which is fantastic. Taking a quick look now at the lines for the Los Angeles Kings, who will be facing there in round number one. And they have Zach Sanford. They have Elias Pedersen, Ilya Mikhaev, uh, Joe Pavelski, Andre Kopitar, Alex Turicott, up to an 87 at 23. Marcus Johansson, Eric Saul, Carl Grundstrom. Laius Anderson, Quentin Byfield, and Marcus Sorensen. I would have Byfield at least on the second line. Not sure why he's on the fourth. Must be something to do with their chemistry. Murray Doughty, Clefbaum, Jersey, Alexiak, Clagg. And in goal, they have Mackenzie Blackwood, Miko Koskinen. So it's going to be a fun matchup against the LA Kings. We're 53 wins. They won about 42. So here we go, starting it off against the LA Kings in 2024. We're starting off, of course, on home ice after a fantastic year. Here we go, period number one in Vegas. It is one to one. Elias Pedersen and Troy Terry on our fourth line scores a goal for us after two, two to one. Elias Pedersen again on his former teammate, but Co Cody Glass ties the game on Mackenzie Blackwood. On a power play goal right in the crease there. And Max Pacioretty. And then Max Pacioretty again. We score four goals in a row. Two power play goals in a row for Pacioretty. Three power play goals for us. I mean, that's what happens when you have a plus three. Uh, Eric Stahl there scores on Demko. But, oh my goodness. Four goals right there. And Pedersen completes the hat trick. But it's not enough. A wild game number one there. Max Pacioretty with back-to-back -back power play goals. Elias Patterson with a Hattie. 
What a fantastic way to start off the playoffs. Alex Turcotte starts the scoring in game number two on Demko. And then Kreb scores a couple of young guys. And then Alex Tuck scores. This is going to be a shootout. Uh, I'm going to simulate the first three to two. Pedersen has another one. Eric Stahl after two. Oh my goodness. Elias Pedersen has five goals in two games. Alex Turcotte with again uh, with a goal once again, Sorensen and then Stone and Steel for us. I'm going to slow sim to third. We have 10 more shots than them. Oh, man. Maybe putting um, Lindgren in a second pairing wasn't the best move. I don't know. I, I think I'm going to try to... I'm going to change it so it goes as the like previous defense I had. 37 to 23 to shots. And we lose 7 to 4. Almost doubling their shots, man. That we we gotta get just move on from that game. Forget it ever happened. Oh my goodness! I'm gonna have. I'm gonna make a change in defense right now because I moved Linger in the second pairing, but I'm gonna put Connor Timmins right back there. I think that's the right thing to do. Hopefully that works out well. All right, so a five to four win and a seven to four loss. So. A uh, high scoring series for sure. They score 11, we score 9. So 20 goals combined in two games. That is insane. Uh, Demko and Blackwood are not going to have good uh, good stats after this one. Period number 1, 1-1. One one. Stone and Sanford after 2, 1-1. One one. So this is a very low scoring game compared to what we're used to. Uh, goaltending duel. Come on, power play. We have a plus three. Can we capitalize? No. We have 35 shots to their 25. 10 more shots here in the third. Blackwood is holding it down for them in net. Only four minutes to go. Two minutes. And Max Pacioretty with the game winning goal with only 122 left. There you go. The assistant captain coming in clutch. And we are up two to one in. And we're up 2-1 in this series. If we can get this win against the Kings on their home ice. Come back to Vegas with a 3-1 lead. That would be perfect. After one, 3-1. Okay, a great start. Alex Tuck, Jake Bean, Jonathan Drouin. And, of course, Elias Patterson. After two, 4-2. Two, Turka gets one for them. But Kovalchuk gets one for us on the fourth line. We have a power play. And there it is, man. Our power play is on fire right now. Jay Bean gets one. Sorensen answers back a couple minutes later. But Pat Shreddy, he gets another one. He's on fire these playoffs. They kill off a power play there. Ilya Kovalchuk, and that is seven. Seven to four, Joe Pavelski. Man, this is a high scoring affair in this game and this entire series. Seven to four win. There you go. So we're up three to one going back home to Vegas. We just got to win one of the next three. We have the home ice advantage. Let's go. Period. Number one in game number five. One to one. Stone and Drew Doughty. After two. Three to three. Pedersen again. He gets two. Pasharetti and Marcia So. And Elias Pedersen is basically single-handedly carrying that LA Kings offense. And Ilya Mikhaev on Tatcher Demko. There he is, and he gives the lead to the Kings. Can we capitalize on the power play? No, Mikhaev, but then Sam Steele scores right away after him. 5-4, to four. and Elias Pedersen, he's just sliding on fire that goal lap against his former teammate, Thatcher Demko. And after we win 7-4, we lose 7-4. This is one of the most wild series I've ever seen. Look at that, 5-4, to 7-4, and then 2-1. to one. 7-4, 7-4. There are three 7-4 games in this series. I'm going to have to count how many goals that is after this one because that is just insane. All right, here we go. Buckle up, guys. Game number six after one. Five to one. We score five goals in the first. Two by Kovalchuk. Stone, Pashretti, Tuck. That's three power play goals. And we get Blackwood out of the game. Drew Doughty gets one on Demko. We're in, we got their backup in five goals and 15 shots after two. We can't score on uh, their backup apparently, but then Sean Dursey, he scores on Demko, making it a five to three game. Sanford scores, making it a five to four game. They took out Blackwood and we can't score on Koskinen. Come on, boys, power play. No, 
Oh man, this is intense. And they tie it Oscar Clef Bomb on Thatcher Demko. It's a 5 to 5 game. We're going into the last few minutes of the game. And Shana Tondrua, he wins the series for us. And Cody Glass gets one for himself. 7 to 5, 39 shots. Shana Tondrua with 25 seconds left. Wow. I need a drink of water after that one. We score 29 goals. Almost 60 goals between two teams in seven games. Oh my goodness, I gotta look at the stats. Cody Glass has 10 points in six games. Wow, that is just absolutely crazy. Look at that. Tuck had nine. Petrangelo, nine assists, six goals. Pashredi is a goal per game. Krebs, Dunwan, Stone, we have. Six players a point per game or better. I'm not looking forward to see the stats of Thatcher Demko. 4-2, a 60 save percentage and a 4-17 goals against. All right, let's take a breather. Let's see who we're facing in round number two. It can't be more crazy than this, can it? All right, the Arizona Coyotes. All right, don't have to go far in the list of teams. They're number two right here. Taylor Hall, Clayton Keller, and Connor Garland. An insane first line. Kasperi Captain, Evan Rodriguez, and Arturi Lekanen. Kind of drops down after that, although they do have a very good center depth. Paul Byron there, Christian Dvorak, Nick Schmaltz, Christian Fisher, Barrett Hayden, and Kiefer Sherwood. So they have extremely good center depth. Pretty good depth on the right side. Not as strong on the left. Uh, defense, Eggman Larson and Chikrin, Soderstrom, Butcher, Merrill and Ruda. That top four is very good, especially that top pairing. And in goal, they have Cal Pedersen, so a former LA King. And Tucker Tynan is the backup. All right, so facing off against the Arizona Coyotes. Battle of the Desert. We beat a California team. Now we got to beat an Arizona team. It's staying hot, hot weather everywhere we play. Period number one in Vegas. One to one. Taylor Hall and Jonathan Drouin. He starts off this series the same way ended the last one. After two, two to one. Will Butcher gives the Coyotes the lead. 23 to 20 the shots. Come on, boys. Let's get back. Let's rally back from this one. Only a one goal game. We scored five or seven almost every game against the Kings. There's our power play. That's red hot. Can it score? Five on three. Come on, boys. We have a plus three. And there it is, Alex Tuck. Our power play is our secret weapon. And we're actually going to go into overtime. Just going to so sim it. And Arizona wins. Will Butcher with a game-winning goal in overtime. We're down one nothing. All right. So we got to bounce back here against Arizona at home. If we can split the two games, that would be good. Like I said, in the last game, in the last series, we scored a ton. Hopefully, we can keep that going after one. one nothing. Paul Byron on the third line. After two, three to nothing. That's not what I want to see. Jacob Chikrin and Taylor Hall. All right, Taylor Hall is back in Arizona after going into a Buffalo with a. I don't know how long he's stayed in Buffalo in this uh, franchise mode. Kasperi Kapanen scores and it's 4 0. I'm just going to sim it. 4 to 1. Sam Steele gets one for us. All right, we're down 2 0. They win both games at, uh, at our home ice. Maybe we can win both of them at their home ice. All right, period number one. It is one to one. Timmins gets the goal. Arturi Lekanen after two, two to two. So Drouin and Keller. And the Canadians are out here scoring. The real life Montreal Canadians. Arturi Lekanen, Jonathan Drouin, Paul Byron last game. Wow. All right, 2018 shots. Not a high scoring game. Not a high shooting game. Clayton Keller gets a goal in the power play. Uh, this is not looking good. Ryan Eugene Hawkins shorthanded, but Keller scores back to... He has two power play goals within five minutes. All right, we're down four to three. Come on, we have to win this game. We don't have a choice. Come on, I don't want to go down. And we're going down on the Connor Garland goal. Three, nothing against the Arizona Coyotes. Not looking good. We have to reverse sweep them. Can we pull it off? Do I have to make a lineup change? I don't want to break up the plus three. Really not much I can do to even add a chemistry. Maybe if I put Pashretti on second line. I don't know. I'll put Pashretti on the first. And just try to give a boost to that first line. I'm not sure what else I can do really. 
Uh, maybe put Tuck there, Marsha so, so everyone still has a plus one. Sometimes all you need is a subtle line change. I've seen a line change change a series with this simulation. You never know. All right, one period at a time, one game at a time. We're in Arizona after one, two to one. OEL in Taylor Hall. Alex Tuck gets one for us after two. Mark Stone, he ties the game. Oh, Soderstrom scores right off the bat in the third period. We're actually down to our last period. Oh no, Barrett Hayden. That is not good at all. That is not what you want to see. 4-3, to three, Oscar Lindgren. I think that maybe his first goal of the playoffs. I'm not sure. Only five minutes to go. 3-2-1. And that is it for the 2024 Stanley Cup playoffs. We get swept by the Arizona Coyotes. That is unbelievable. After a 50-plus win season, to lose out like that, that sucks. Uh, looks like our HL team is in the playoffs, so might as well simulate their playoff run, see if they can win. They're up 2-0 against the San Diego goal, so hopefully they can keep that up. Lose one, they win game number four. After game number five, they win. All right, so... Henderson moves on. They're seven and two in the playoffs. Brett Harrison doing fantastic there. Hopefully they can win uh, another Calder Cup. We already have one Calder Cup under our belts. So Let's see if we can get another one playing against the Stars here. I'm just gonna simulate the whole series. Down two nothing quick. Then we tie it up and we lose in, I believe, seven games. So both of our AHL and NHL teams are eliminated. Chicago and Philadelphia. So a rematch of the 2010 Stanley Cup Final. Of course, when Patrick Kane scored that famous overtime goal where nobody knew where the puck was but him. Let's see who wins that one. I'm going to simulate up to the draft. And the 2024 Stanley Cup champion, the Chicago Blackhawks and the Laval Rocket are the Calder Cup champions. All right, so uh, 14 years after beating the Flyers, Chicago repeats history in 2024. And Buffalo goes from 11 to 1 in the draft lottery, Detroit from 5 to 2, Calgary from 1 to 3. Man, Buffalo, how lucky is that? 11 to 1, crazy. See who our retired players are. Eric Starr retires um, as a member of the LA Kings after we beat them in round number one. Over 1,200 points, over 500 goals. Claude Giroux there uh, retires just shy of 400. Miko Koivu, Carter, Shea Weber retires. Uh, Steen, Suter, Neil Bufflin there. All right, let's look at goaltending. And Jonathan Quick calls it a career. Reimer, Miller, Corey Crawford as well going down the list a lot. There are your retirees for this year. All right, so I'm going to do the NHL entry draft and then we'll end off the episode there. We'll do the off-season re-sign phase in the next episode. I don't want the episode to be too long. Alex Tuck had a very good playoff. Uh, Cody Glass had a fantastic playoff there as well. Petrangelo, no goals but 10 assists. Pash Reddy had 9 points. Drouin, 9 points. Uh, Krebs had eight. So the guys I wanted to show up did show up. We had the scoring that was almost unfortunately all in round number one. Uh, all those goals that we scored, we ran out of goals in round number two. Uh, Demko wasn't great in the playoffs. I'm really hoping that doesn't affect his rating because that would be awful. Petrangelo went back up to a 90 after going down to an 89. So that's uh, pretty cool. So let's see where we're picking. Uh, it's probably going to be a mid to late pick. Uh, it's going to be uh, number 26. So let's look at the draft class, see if there's anything interesting. Uh, so the usual elites, guys. The usual elite guys at the start. Uh, Old Rick Kondratik. What a cool name. I'm going to uh, pin him and Jackson Quirk as well. They could be very good late round steals. Um, let's see if there's any gems or busts. Uh, doesn't look like it. None of them. And as for rankings, we're going to pick around 26. So see if there's anything good we could potentially get around that pick. Not a lot. Maybe Derek Robertson. He's a center. Scouts seem to like him. Goal scoring, pro release. Maybe he could be a sniper. Similar to Owen Nolan. Wow, he's listed to go 24th overall. I would love to have him maybe move up to like number 20. Just to be safe that we can have him. Or I could look at if somebody has or pick on the block. So number 20, 21, 22. 
I'm going to try to get the Columbus Blue Jackets pick number 21. So we will move up five spots in the draft uh, to hopefully have him. Uh, so we're going to try to give them our first round pick. We do have uh, two seconds for this year. Maybe one of our fifths. See if that's going to go through the Vegas fifth. So we'll give them a fifth to move five spots in the draft. Is Columbus going to say yes? All right, trade accepted. That was pretty easy. So we get a, another deal done with Columbus after we got Demko from them. Uh, let's look at the top pick. So Mackinnon, he's a sniper, medium elite, 82. So 82, 81, 80, couple of elite guys, just like the generic elites. 82 medium elite, number eight. Manchal gets a pretty good steal right there. Uh, you would think that guy would have went into the top five. A lot of good picks. Uh, looks like he might be a deeper draft than I thought. All right, so Derek Robertson, he is still there. He's a centerman, 18 years old. Guaranteed to be medium top six. Hopefully, it's a pretty good rating. 65 medium top six. So not the greatest rating, but uh, again, he's a top six. So hopefully, he's going to grow pretty well. Um, and after that, there's a couple of guys I really want that's going to be they're gonna be later in the draft, of course. These two guys, 138 and 156. So I'm probably going to get them in the third and fourth round. So Kondra take there and uh, Kurt, they're actually two goaltenders, but uh, they could always be good trade pieces. I'm going to get this guy, Oliver Aho. He's a uh, right defenseman, similar to Ekholm. Could be elite. He's a German. Hopefully he's a good pick. Uh, 64, um, 67 medium top four. So not great, but uh, it is a medium top four. So a decent potential so this guy here, Edwin Tuber, he's a 6'4", 190-pound defenseman. He's 17 years old. Looks like he would fit our scheme fit perfectly. Uh, he's probably a couple of years away, like three or four. But in the future, maybe a good fit. 61 medium top six. Honestly, a pretty good pick for a second round. So we're up to the fourth round here. We're going to have to take the guys that we pinned earlier. Hopefully they're still there. So I'm going to take him, uh, Oldrick Kondratik out of the Extra Liga. He's 19 years old. Uh, again, at worst, if we don't use him, could potentially be a trade piece. 59 medium elite. There you go. Hopefully the other guy is still available. If not, I'll take somebody else. So he is there. Uh, Jackson Quirk, again, hopefully he's elite. M medium elite, 60 overall. There you go. So we had a couple of medium elite goaltenders. A guaranteed uh, top six forward. Not bad at all. These later picks is usually just shots in the dark. Hopefully get somebody good. And then round number seven, looks like we have back-to-back -back picks. Might as well just take these two guys that are um, the best options based on our scouts. So it looks like not very good picks, but uh, 56 bottom six, 53 7D. But again, it is the seventh round. So that's going to be it for the NHL entry draft. Overall, uh, a solid draft. We had some good pieces there. Next episode is going to be the re-sign phase. I'm just going to look at the awards first. Look at who we have to sign. And then we'll be good to go. Uh, so the Stanley Cup goes to the Blackhawks. President's Trophy to the Flyers. So uh, they, the two best teams in the NHL face off against each other there. So as for individual awards, Connor McDavid gets the Art Ross, Leon gets the Hart, Norris goes to Shabbat, Gojo wins the Lady Bing for a second straight year, uh, Jazz uh, wins the Calder, Ovechkin with the Conn Smite, Ovechkin was on the Blackhawks, wow, so he gets another Stanley Cup and the Conn Smite, love to see that, Murray with the Vesna as well as the William M. Jennings, Goodis with the Bill Masterton, and Jack Adams to the Rangers coach, uh, Selkie goes to O'Reilly. No one, I'm actually playing in a Be a Pro with the New York Rangers uh, on the side. And this is exactly the same coach that I have in my Be a Pro. Looks exactly the same. So I don't know if in Be a Pro, if you have go with a team, their coach is the same coach that's going to be in the franchise mode. But that's pretty funny. Uh, Dry Cell with the 10 Lindsay and the Maurice Richard. So Edmonton just cleaned up the awards there. Uh, so let's look at quickly who we'll have to re-sign and then we'll end off the episode there. So as for contracts, we have Nugent Hawkins and Marshall So to sign again. We have 20 million of cat space. Nugent Hawkins, he wants 6.3 for three years. Pretty good contract. Honestly, I'm probably going to give him that. 9.6 for four years. That's a hefty contract. I mean, he is 86, but... 
he would be making 9.6 until he's 37, and I'm really worried that he's going to drop off. Uh, Cody Glass up to an 85 overall. Going to re-sign him. Still 85 there. Uh, Jay Bean still an 84. Uh, Payne Krebs 84. Lindgren, he's 83 at 21. He, I'm telling you, he's probably going to be a very good defenseman for us. And we got him in the seventh round in, uh, three years ago. So I'm very happy for that. Uh, Terry, 82, and Larson, they're 82. is going to have to re-sign those fourth line guys and uh, third pairing guys. And as for goaltending, we do still have Demko. Still the Citizen, 85, which is good. Well said, 80 overall. He's going to be our backup in the NHL. Probably because, yeah, listed as a backup. And then he can have good minutes there in the NHL and hopefully grow. Alan Felt probably is going to be our AHL starter. Hasn't grown, unfortunately. And then we could have one of our other guys backing him up. So overall, I don't think it's going to be too much of a difficult offseason. Uh, the main piece is to re-sign. I'm not sure if I'll sign Marcia So. I want to sign Nugent Hawkins, a couple of um, bottom guys and in goal we're gonna have to re-sign Alan Feld who's in our face so it should be pretty good and hopefully finally we can have a deep playoff run and finally win our first Stanley Cup hopefully we can have a good off season and hopefully finally win our first Stanley Cup with the Vegas Golden Knights so if you guys enjoyed uh, do leave a like we really appreciate it subscribe if you're new hit that notification bell as well don't miss out on any episodes thank you for watching and as always have a great day